and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Swain. Played this deck a couple of weeks ago. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it's always good playing a good Vladimir deck. And so we got our Crimson unit. So we got our Tough with Demacia, a big part of our deck. We got the combo between Chain Vest, granting an ally Tough, with Crimson Disciple, Crimson Curator. Try to grant these things Tough so they can continually survive damage and either create more Crimson units in your hand or uh, deal damage to the enemy Nexus. That's a big part of our deck. Um, but then we got our four mana cards here with both Legion Veteran and Crimson Awakener, which are really big four mana cards, four, five, and five, five. So we got some good size there. And then, of course, our five mana champions with Swain and Vladimir also being pretty awesome. And then Leviathan at the top end, because Leviathan plus Swain, we know how good that combo is. Um, got some good combat tricks in here, like back to back. Um, our removal, we have some single combats. We have some concerted strikes. Um, got some good stuff, you know, Transfusion, another good combat trick. Would like to have one Ranger's Resolve in here somewhere, but we talked about this whenever we played it last time. It's hard to find room for it. The One Remembrance is important for, because, like, we don't have a lot of, like, early units as far as curving out, and that's kind of important. So, like, like Crimson Disciples, like, our only, I guess, Warchefs, too, yeah. So, Crimson Disciple and Warchefs, like, that's what we want to have for turn two. But if we don't have either of those, like, playing Demolitionist on turn two isn't great. And then my only three drop is Curator. So like if we don't have Disciple or Warchefs or Curator, our you know, it's gonna be kind of rough. And so like those are gonna be the three cards that we're looking for mostly whenever we're mulliganing. Um, Remembrance just gives us another thing that we could play on turn three. Like if we don't have those things, we can slam Remembrance on turn three, and that that's pretty awesome. Um and so it's it's not something that we're like really focused on, but it's just another it's a it's a great three drop if we don't if we're not able to curve with those things. Um yep. So that's our deck. Let's let's give it a try. We're gonna go play it over in a rank. We're gonna go play five games like we always do. And we'll see how we do in uh, five games. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, we are going to be able to play these things early. Very good. So we're going to be on defense turn two. So probably looking at playing Crimson Disciple. Just living the good life. Living the good life. Attacking for 10 on turn 2. as well. Okay, warm up game of the day done. That is what a perfect hand looks like. Is what happens when you have the perfect hand and attacking on the perfect turns with the perfect hand. <laughs> yeah, Cabo. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, because 
I call that deck Endure Aggro. And yeah, I remember last time somebody in here was saying that, you know, Endure is not an aggro deck. And yeah, just, just send that to him. Like, all right, well, the game's over on turn four. Is that an aggro deck or what? Hey, <laughs> only you used to think that only your opponents have luck like that. No, no, that that could just happen. All right, so War Chefs into Curator is good. Um, I kind of want to keep Concerted Strike, to be honest. I think I want to keep Concerted Strike. Yeah, they had turn two. They attacked for ten on turn two. Not an aggro deck. And then, you know, turn four, they have double challengers plus attacking for an additional 16 besides the two challengers. On turn four, but not an aggro deck. I'm not sure how I'm like doing a bunch of damage in this game. Am I getting that 20 damage across? That's the main question I got right now. How am I doing this 20 damage? Yeah, we're playing against the same opponent that we just did. Okay. I can do some work. So Crimson just Crimson or sorry, concerted concerted strike right now would do eight damage, um, which wouldn't quite level up Swain. Now we do 10, and so that would level up Swain. Oh, right. I kind of forgot about if I kill Callista, then Bark Beast levels up. Kind of forgot about that. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Yeah, then these go to it's like where they can block. They will be tough. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Fine. 
Yeah, yeah, we can we can chain vest the curator and get some more free units. Um, I don't know exactly what we're doing with those units right now. But that is an option. So in case they didn't want to block with Callista on the Swain, we would have been able to um, I guess I do this one. Get the free unit. So I wanted to attack like that, so like maybe they don't want to trade Callista away. If they don't trade Callista away, then I could have Concerted Strike and leveled up the Swain and then dealt like the three damage to everything. So that's something that we could have potentially done. Of course, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to kill the Neverglade Collector. With this concerted strike. Carved from the savage cold. I guess maybe we have to kill Sejuani. Safeguard our homes. Ride onward. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. If I play Concerted Strike right now, we can you know, like kill like the Neverglade Collector, which could help us out. Um, but then that would level up Callista, because leveling up the Swain go turns Swain into a 1-2. We're just in a really tough spot. I think I need to keep Swain alive. Oh wait, one, two, oh, I forgot about the Toph. Two at the Toph, I didn't have to even do that. Two at the Toph. Dang it, I forgot about the Toph. All right, we'll still, we're still warming up. I could have killed one of these two. Yeah, that's my bad. One with class. The pleasure to see you too, Medea. Could have killed one of those two. Never glader Callista. Order sir, bring forth our army. Yeah, Neverglade would, would have been the one I would have taken out. Definitely. Oh, yes. 
Callista we can block. Neverglade, not so much. I feel like if I, like, yeah, we could, could Ravenous flock the Sejuani? Yes, but, um, the Sejuani right now is just going to be, you know, stunned. And I do feel like, I feel like if I, if I cast the Ravenous, you know, Swain's Ravenous flock on the Sejuani, you know, that, that allows them to play a new Sejuani, which could be very bad for me. And if they have, like, a new Sejuani, they could, like, challenge and kill my Swain. And then I don't have any Swains left. And I think that could all be... That could all be kind of a problem for me. Come, Clara. We have much to teach you. I can't wait. I'm going to try to kill them this next turn. Yeah, I just talked about why I didn't want to kill Sejuani, because I don't want them playing a new Sejuani. And I don't want I need to have my backup Swain in case something happens to this Swain. So this next turn we have the double demolitionist. Try to do damage to them. You know, like we'll hopefully stun three things at the beginning of turn. Demolitionist stunt on Crimson Disciple, stun two more things. Um, demolitionist on the other disciple, stun two more things. So hopefully basically stun all of their blockers. Um they can have, you know, a self-kill, you know, a spell that kills one of their own things that frostbites my whole team. So, they could have that, but hopefully not. Hmm. Bestow upon them the gifts of our empire. For the glory of Noxus. Such little lives. For the Empire. The few for the many. I guess I was supposed to play Vladimir first, wasn't I? I don't, I don't know why I just went went to combat and not play Vladimir. All right, so that drains me for two. I wanted to get, I wanted to pump up the Swain to get Swain back up to three health. I could kill a Neverglade Collector. I still get drained for two, but then you know, like one Neverglade's gone. Or I could kill this thing and then keep them from drawing too. I think I try to keep them from drawing too. I really should have played the, that Vladimir first. I, don't, I really don't know why I didn't play the Vladimir first and why we just went to combat. Okay, well they had that to kill me anyway. So you want to play Vladimir first, they just had atrocity.
Well, we almost stabilized and pulled, pulled ahead and won with leveled up Swain and Leviathan combo, but Neverglade too strong. If I would have killed... Um, let's see, if I would have killed their Neverglade with my Concerted Strike and not that 2-1, then what? Well, we would have saved 2 life, so we would have been at 8, not 6. So we still would have died. Well, yeah, because... Yeah, I mean, they still could have killed me. But they would have had to... Like, whenever I play Vladimir, they would have had to after I played... Or if I would have played Vladimir, then they would have had to um, do the Frostbite thing after that. The Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, we're just keeping all this. We have been doing a great job of finding the two drops of like Crimson Disciple and War Chefs. We've had those every game. That's very good. New recruit reporting in. Um, charge? I'll try any one you want. All right, Crimson Disciple doing some work. Okay, so basically, I can't cast Transfusion and keep either one of my things alive. Like, yeah, I can't keep them both alive. Um... I think it's better to keep War Chefs alive. The glory. With the pump that War Chefs can do. So we're trading Crimson Disciple and Transfusion for half of their Petty Officer and War Chefs. Huh. Well, now I want to play Curator before Demolitionist, but this turn I was planning on going War Chefs and Demolitionist. Hmm. I found my family, my blood kin. The bloodier, the better. Feel the seed up, friend! How did that move go? Alright, so far so good. So far so good. <laughs> Somebody was raiding Demacia cards, but Garen on D tier. Yeah, they... People just don't understand how good Demacia cards are. I guess. People just... I don't. I don't under. Yeah. Go ahead, scare me. Like there is, there is absolutely no way that Garen should be on D tier. It is, it is really good. People just don't understand. Yeah, some people do just say Demacia is bad. I don't, I don't know if they don't have 
much imagination, maybe? I don't know. They just don't... They just look at the top three decks, and none of the top three have Demacia, therefore it's bad. I don't know. So obviously we could block in Transfusion. Let's just Transfusion this way. Definitely considering blocking the other way and transfusioning and pumping up the Curator. Try to block Senez, 5-5. Five, five. So we're at 4 out of 6 for Vladimir. I could play Vladimir and Crimson Aristocrat this turn. Yeah, whatever. Whoa! Hey! Well, I've played two Garen decks the last two days, and we're five and zero. We were five and zero with both Garen decks, so ten and zero with Garen over the past two days. So that doesn't really sound like anything that's bad to me. Oh, if that's concerted strike, that hurts. Okay, single combat, not as bad. Concerted strike would have hurt. I'll bring them peace. Yeah, sure, we gotta figure out how to deal with this Lucian, but we'll figure something out. Okay. Repost would be bad. The wood can't fight back, but I can. Hmm. Alright, now this is kind of bad. Also. Flavor and spice. So I really want to play back to back this turn. And so that means we could play one of these things, and I guess it's War Chefs. I don't really want to do the. Hold nothing back. The one damage to the Vladimir right now.
So this is, looks pretty good for us. So if they want to trade Elmhart for Warshafts, I'm fine with that. If they attack with Lucian, obviously we'll trade with Vladimir, I'm fine with that also. If they want to challenge Vladimir, then, you know, they're, cha they're again, you know, then we block here with Warshafts and they're again trading. Such a pretty thing. Yeah, so they're left with one card, and we're left with four. So hopefully that means we can finish it out. So I can go Swain, Demolitionist, <clears throat> level up Swain. Uh, so I guess Swain would be a 4-6. So four six still survives. Third gen of Evelm Heart. Strike at their foundations. You shall go no farther. Genevieve Elmhart just is a champion. That's the nice part about playing that as your six mana card. I mean, it's as good as a champion. So I know it could Ravenous Flock, but then I'm left with a 4 1 Swain. I'd rather just play a new 4 7 Swain. Cool, thanks, Cabo. We'll check those out after this. By my hand, will Noxus rise. Lead us to victory, Grand General. Mm. Oh, I Let's do this first. Soldiers, to me! You live. Probably. That will stun one thing. And there we go. GG. My conflicts end only one way. Alright, in the win column. Yeah, you could play Radiant Guardian in this deck uh, to help you out against aggro decks. Like, it would help out in the They Who Endure matchup. It would. Um, it's a little hard to find room for it with, with having the multiple, like, the two five-drop champions. You know, you don't want to play, you don't want a deck just filled with five drops as far as your curve is considered. We do have the remembrance that sometimes can be a Radiant Guardian. You know, it's one-fourth one of the time it's Radiant Guardian. Hey, Ivad, good afternoon. I am having a great day so far. I had some cereal this morning. My little Dallas Mavericks had a big win last night. That was super exciting. And just super slow. Hello. I think I'm mulligan at all. I would like Concerta Strike later on to take down Sejuani, but not necessarily in my opener, especially like if I had if I had like Warshafts and Crimson Disciple in my hand, then I would keep Concerted Strike also, because then I would know that I would have like some things to do early. But with not knowing that we would have anything to do early, I don't think that I could afford keeping Keeping Concerta Strike. Hey, uh, Nicolias. Hello, hello. So, 
So Crimson Curator is better to play than War Chefs, but War Chefs does allow me to transfusion. I think I'm getting Curator in play is better for Awakener. I love a taste of the action. It's kind of tough call around. I guess I'll just go to attacks and is that all? go with Curator. Advent. So them blocking, that makes it worse for my Awakener. Um, we can have War Chef's attack with the Disciple, pump it back up to, to two health, and obviously we have the Transfusion as well. 6-5. Hmm. My family, my blood kin. Not the face. But my friend. Well, the good news is they're down to just three cards. For normal, three normal cards. That is. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Batter him. No one goes home. All right, pump up here so this doesn't trade with Omen Hawk. Excuse you. We'll take that trade. Or, I guess not. We'll trade with Elixir of Iron. Oh, I can't wait. Another day in the field. Yeah, I've had so. You plan them, kid. What about. What do you feel about um, the Nuggets? Is it true that people, like, you know, you said you're an Avalanche and Broncos. Is it cool? Is it true that, and I mean, even the Rockies are doing really well, too. The Rockies are doing great. But do people in Denver not really care about the Rockies or the Nuggets? That's what I've heard. That, you know, it's, you know, Broncos and then Avalanche, like those two, and then it's like a big gap, and then people kind of care about the Nuggets and the Rockies, but not really. I help build this empire. I'll scout ahead. Blood Sworn Pledge. Well then. I don't know if I've seen much Bloodsworn Pledge before. Feel the sizzle! Eat up, friend! Yeah, because Bron Broncos, and then Avalanche, and then Big Dip Down, and then the other two. Okay. So, let's see. Hoping this works. Of course, that team is going to be leveled up here, so it's a 3 2. Ooh, quite a 
Awesome. Alright, so Swain and Vladimir both level up with that single combat. Cool. Tusk Raider. I assume you come from me. Strength through suffering. Already played multiple Elixir of Irons. Awesome. My plan is hopefully being able to just go right to, you know, block with that, be able to go right to combat. Three, four power things. To the face. No one goes and not let them play the Sejuani. Perfect. Alright, two and two. They had all the elixir of irons, I had all the transfusions. Vladimir is really cool. Definitely like playing uh, Vladimir decks. That's a cool, that's just a cool card. That's a well designed card. Definitely, Steve. Yeah, this game is awesome. It's very balanced compared to uh, your other big card games like Magic and Hearthstone. Um, balanced in t terms of just the wide variety of decks that you can play but then also just the gameplay it's not um you know it's not a game where if if you win a die roll to start the game first you have a big advantage both players play things on on every turn uh, both players have you know have basically the same kind of mana all the time um but then there's also a an Spell mana mechanic, so you can catch up if you don't if you don't curve out like your opponent. You can still have a little extra mana and catch up. Um, so the game, each game is uh, interesting and and back and forth, and and you can play anything, and it's just a really good game. Yeah, it's it's still real new. You know, like it it just was released this year. Um, it went out in open beta early in the year and then was released just a couple of months ago. We've had it, we've we've gone four months without new cards right now, so we're in um, kind of a stale period a little bit right now. But um, that's going to change next week uh, in six days. In six days, we're getting a new set, a new expansion that will be released, and then every two months. After this, we're going to have new expansions with new cards. And they've already kind of had... They've already talked about the um, plan moving forward with that. So the price model is awesome compared to Hearthstone. I said you're from Hearthstone. Um, I'm not, I don't know much about Duelist, to be honest. But um, basically, you don't... You, you can honestly download this game and spend $0. And you can... Um, compete and uh you know you can even go to the ranked ladder with just your cards you have your collection and kind of grow your collection and you honestly do not need to spend any money you you can get you know a good tier one deck in a couple of weeks i don't even know if i don't even know if like probably shorter than that honestly um it took me about five weeks to get every single card in the whole game but that was before the last expansion What am I doing? We're mulliganing a lot of stuff. Thresh Gangplank. Okay, we're going to mulligan all of these. We're going to keep Chain Vest. I want my Crimson cards. Disciple and Curator, especially Curator. Curator is our best draw. Remembrance would be a good one, too. Yeah, they have a very generous free-to-play model. Tons of rewards in the game. Um, so it's awesome. They, it's basically like you just spend money on the cosmetics. 
you know, on different boards, on different, on different, uh, guardians, on your boards, on your card backs. You'll fight or you'll swim! Taste of the action. Get barnacle. Look what you. Yeah, and you can and you can spend some money if you want to to uh, quicken up the process. You know, if you want to have more champions and stuff faster, you can. Um, a keep up, keep a up. copy of a champion, I think, costs what like basically like three dollars. I think if you just if you kind of even out to like one card would be like three dollars. I think for like a, a champion card, something like that. Yep, we're gonna view. Yeah, so Leona was was just previewed. Yeah, we'll check. We'll take a look at that card um, after after this game, basically. So I'm going through. I'm playing five games with each deck, recording for YouTube. And so after this game, we'll take a look at it. I am for those y'all on YouTube. I'm gonna have a long uh, preview uh, card card a lot uh, card set review. Um. Yeah, I guess maybe they're called expansion reviews now, not sets in this game, but an expansion review once we have all the cards. We're going to be taking an, an entire day, probably, so probably like next, you know, we'll probably know them all like next Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, something like that, and then just going through and talking about every single card. Now, I'm going to attack with a Vladimir. Where can I find a fool? Do I want to attack with anything else? And I think the answer is no. But I... I mean, I want to, Time's but... Wiser, not I don't think I'm supposed to. Please, I have connections! <laughs> so this is going to be number three for Vladimir. Trying to level up Vladimir, that's, so that's number three. Like, maybe I should be using the Chain Vest there on Vlad? I don't know. Neither the flames nor the deaths could claim me. That's kind of scary. Their bones are splinter. I'll show him pain. Gangplank, your bones are splintered? So Gangplank just said that my bones are splintered? Didn't you like go to a doctor? I want your bones to be splintered. Gaze upon me. Should probably go to a doctor about that. I just kind of want to use this chain vest as a, as a surprise tool. Oh, I guess they have this thing at this this powder keg out. If they have okay, so it's Shadow Isles bilge water. I don't know why I've been thinking about Noxus cards. I've been thinking about um, like the deal two to something and then one to me Noxus card and Noxion fervor. I've been thinking about those like whenever I've. Planning out turns, but I guess I don't have to worry about those because they're not noxious. The 
Okay, so this keeps Vladimir from leveling up. Um, it's kind of a problem. It's kind of a problem, because now Vladimir's going to go down to two health. Alright, so if I chain vest, Vladimir goes to three tough. It's harder to kill than just two health. Because if I let Vladimir go down to two health, then a grasp the undying will kill Vladimir even if I have the tough or not. I'm worried about that, so I'm going to go ahead and give Vladimir tough. So now it's three health with toughness. Okay, just a bunch of parlays and vile fees in this list. Of... Well, I don't. Yeah, I mean, so th that's possible. I, I don't necessarily want to assume that's going to be the list, though. I don't know about ruination. Also, I mean, I guess I wait till after combat with the Swain. The Swain would be nice to play right now, though. I guess we'll wait till afterwards and see what happens. I'm feeling good about having the two Leviathans in hand. Uh, there's, what, nine cards over in my opponent's hand, so they have, you know, just a ridiculous amount of stuff. General. I think we kill this thing. My Vladimir will regenerate. going to level up Swain, because that's single combat, that's me doing six damage <laughs> with, with the Vladimir. So now we have both of our champions leveled up. They have eight cards and I have two, but I have a commanding board and we have the two best cards. If we could only have two, we have the two best cards. And then we could have, even though they have what, three times as many cards as I have now? Nine to three? I'm not sure. I don't know what the best deck against Riptide Rex is. That's a good question. I don't, I don't know. Riptide Rex is a beating. I don't know if there's anything that's... that's... I don't know. Indecision is the first of many. Through the coral! Yeah, it'd probably have to be aggro, right? Like, I mean, control's not really a thing. No ruination. Don't need to worry about ruination. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. If they have like vengeance to kill my five eight, well then we gotta deal with these still. Vengeance killed the Swain. Okay. Well, I will just do uh, 
additional damage to them right away. So now they can have... Now they can have Ruination. Definitely want to go straight to combat. This is them going to zero. That's them going to one. Um, I think I'll just let them go to one, right? They're gonna have to do something about this. They're gonna have to do something about this Leviathan. It's gonna kill them. I'll be very surprised if we lose this game. Sure, I'll pass. You wanna you wanna pass too? Go to the next round start. Round start, round start. Didn't even need to show him the other Leviathan. Your taste is impeccable. Alright, came back with the winning record three and two. Fun deck to play. Like Vladimir decks. You know, we have that Leviathan Swain combo that's awesome. Our Crimson cards looked good. This game for sure. Transfusion was awesome. Chain Vest looked pretty good. And then our removal spells, Single Combat, and Concerted Strike both uh, did some good work. And so did Back to Back. This card really put up a lot. Um, you know, it did, it did a lot also. Okay. Uh, why are we not playing Rangers Resolve? I didn't have room for it. I wouldn't mind one copy of Rangers Resolve, but there's nothing here we wanted to take out. For it. I like Chain Vest more. I think Chain Vest being continual over many turns is really important to go along with Crimson Disciple and Crimson Curator. Um, but yeah, I would like one copy of Rangers Resolve, but honestly, there's there's nothing I want to take out. So it's just, it's the 41st card, but you can only play 40. But it's the 41st. Um, I don't want to take out a unit. Um, I'd you know, so it'd have to be a spell. But there's just none of these spells. Like, I I like having ba two back-to-backs more than one back-to-back, -back, one Ranger's Resolve. This Remembrance is you know, basically another unit that's important to have on turn three. I mean, I like Single Combat, Transfusion, Chain Vest. I like all these more than a Ranger's Resolve. Um, and same with Concerted Strike. So there's just not, just not room for it. All right, but anyway, that's Vladimir Swain. Those of y'all watching on YouTube later on, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. You know, anything about the new set, um, you know, these decks, anything you want, leave those comments. I appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.